Hi. Welcome to Queen Conversations. I'm the cheerleader for today. And today we're going to talk about um, being a cheerleader. And so, okay, I'm going to put these down just for a moment so I can talk with my hands because that's what I do. Um, so in life, all of us need at least one cheerleader. Ideally, you have more than just one. So your cheerleader could be your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother. It could be your kids. It could be somebody like a coworker. It could be your boss. It could be somebody at church. It could be, it's typically somebody you know. Sometimes it could be a uh, stranger, but typically it's somebody you know. So when I say cheerleader, this is what I mean. So when you think of a typical cheerleader, you are probably thinking of um, girls that dress up and have these cute little skirts on. I know that are a little too short. I'm, I'm, we're not gonna talk about that. Um, and they have pom poms and they flip and hop and dance and they are trying to encourage the team to make that win or make that goal. And I've seen cheerleaders in football and basketball. I don't know if there's cheerleaders in other sports. But those are the only two I've noticed, but there could be more. I don't know. So your cheerleader is somebody that is spurring you on, encouraging you, giving you a good word, especially because life gets tough and rough. And so if you have somebody in your ear that is speaking life to you, encouragement to you, a good word to you, something positive to you, that is going to encourage your spirit. It's going to lift your mood. It's going to help your emotions. Um, in a positive direction. So in the Bible, um, there is a lot of different scriptures that talk about getting a good word from someone and how that can enhance your life positively. So I just want to say like a kind of pleasant word is like a ray of sunshine coming through like a gray, dark and gloomy sky. And you get that ray of sunshine. You're like, oh, yes, it's maybe get, it's maybe going to get sunny now and it's going to stop raining and being so cold and icky. So um, I want to jump into some of the scriptures that um, talk about what a good or kind word can do for you or or how it is beneficial. So Proverbs 12 and 25, and it says, anxiety weighs the heart down, but a kind word can cheer it up. Yeah! Okay, Proverbs 16, 24, gracious words are like honeycomb and sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Yes, amen. Proverbs 10, 21, the lips of a righteous, the lips of the righteous nourish Many, but fools die for lack of sense. Hmm. Um, Proverbs 15 and 4, a happy heart makes the face cheerful, but heartache crushes the spirit. Oh, yes, it can. Um, and the last one I'm going to um, leave you with will be Romans 12 and 6. And this is a little longer. It says, we all have different gifts, gifts according to the grace given us by the spirit. Um if your gift is prophesying, then prophesy according to your face. Faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, see there it is, encourage, then give encouragement. It is, if it is giving, then give generously. If it is leading, then do so diligently. And if it is to show mercy, do that cheerfully. So I want, really wanted to focus in on if you are meant to encourage. And so that shows that is a gift of the spirit to be an encourager for somebody else. So not everybody is encouraging. I know you can think of some folks, probably plenty of them that are discouraging, um, hateful words, discouraging words, mean words, um, they can tell you the truth, but they're so harsh. They can be judgmental. So we need some people that are like encouraging and uplifting. So make sure you find some folks that are like that in your life. And even if you're the cheerleader, you still need other people to cheer you on because there's going to be a point in your life or probably many points in your life where you're going to need somebody to say... You got it, girl. Go on ahead. Remind, they can remind you of how God is good, how God has brought you through things in your past, um, how God is never going to leave you nor forsake you. And so you need that in your life. If you're the cheerleader, then you also need to make sure that you are speaking the truth in love or that you are trying to lend a 
um, a kind word, but also maybe people just need for you to just listen as they vent or as they're expressing their hurt or their pain to you. So I just want to leave you guys with that. Thank you so much for um, staying around to the end of the video. And hopefully you are a cheerleader or you find some cheer and or you find cheerleaders in your life to help you pursue this hard life um, that we have or can have and that we can boost each other's spirits and moods. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Have a great day. Bye.